Hi boys and girls! Today's video features a training run from Alex Tilly in Sasfe in August 2019. What I want to talk about is the combination of powerful movements, incredible balance and tremendous feeling. Of course, I mean the flow. Just in case you enjoy those videos, uh, let me know by leaving a like. Cheers! Oh, and before I forget, please make sure you check out Ski Time's website. So what is flow? Why is it important and where the heck can we buy it? Um, to start off, let's think about the beginning of the turn and what we could possibly do to make the skis turn quickly and with a short radius. We can put weight on the outside ski, we can angulate using the ankles, knees, maybe even the hips. Uh, you've probably heard that, but now what? What if we do all those things? Uh, is there something else we can do? Uh, what if we could use the momentum from our past turn and transfer it into the next one? And that is what I mean by flow. And it would be great, but how do we do it? Let's have a look at Alex, especially during the transition. She keeps her hips low and her legs basically swing from one side to the other side. The momentum of her legs is what she now uses in the beginning of the next turn to bend the skis a little more than she would be able to if that momentum wasn't there. And this is exactly what I mean by flow, using the momentum from the previous turn to get more energy into the next one. What are the things absolutely necessary for that kind of flow to happen? You'll need a good start of the turn, as I mentioned earlier. That means you need to move your ankles well, and depending on circumstances, you'll also need to move knees and maybe even the hips. You also have to be well balanced and the outside ski must carry more weight than the inside one. Cool, what else can we do? You should try to keep your hips a little lower than they normally are. Uh, I don't suggest you should be sitting down like this. Instead, your hips should be more like this. The reason being, if you stand up in the transition, the momentum of the skis will be lost. Keeping your hips low means that you're able to push your outside ski earlier and this results in a quicker turn overall, which is exactly what we can see in those turns from Ted Ligeti. He keeps his hips low and pushes the new outside ski as soon as he can. I'll show these four shots a couple of times so you can get an idea on what this movement looks like. Okay, that's the video today. I hope you're enjoying the rest of your day as much as you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> Anyways. Thanks for watching and see you next time.